How do you study the Bible and make sure that what you're reading is accurately representing what the author's intention was? Well, I want to talk about this real quick because I see a lot of comments and uh, some people just really want to know. And some people you can kind of just tell that they have not been taught how to properly study the scriptures and understand them in their context. So we're going to talk about something called the interpretive journey. So step one in interpreting the Bible is grasping the text in their town. Step two is going to be measuring the width of the river to cross. Step number three, crossing the principalizing bridge. Step number four is grasping the text in our town. And then step number five is applying it. So step number one is absolutely the most important part of understanding the biblical text. All right. So you want to grasp the text in their town. So let me say this real quick. Everything that is described is not prescribed. OK, everything in the scriptures that you see that is described to the people that it is written to doesn't mean that it is prescribed for us who are reading it now. Also, the Bible is not written to us, but it is written for us. Primary audience of the Old Testament and even most of the New Testament was the Jewish people. And then the Gentiles, which means non-Jews, comes in in the New Testament. So, again, the Bible is not written to us. It is written for us. We are not the biblical audience. So step number one is finding out about the five W's. All right. Who was the scriptures written to? What group of people? All right. Who, what, what was going on at that particular time? All right. What was the author particularly addressing? What was going on in that particular group's history that or that had the author writing that particular text? Where was the author at? Where were they at? Were they at Mount Sinai? Were they in Babylonian captivity? Were they in captivity to the Romans? Was Paul in jail? Was he free? Where were they when they wrote the text? All right. When was the text written? Absolutely important. Was it written before the destruction of the temple? Was it written before captivity, during captivity? Where was or when was the text written? And then why? What was the biblical author's intention and reason and purpose for writing that those group of scriptures to that group of people? Why did they write? We have to know the answers to those questions before you can even begin to even think about skipping to step four. Many people skip to step four, but have no idea what it meant to the original audience. You have to know the historical and literary context. Is this apocalyptic literature? Is it wisdom literature? Um, is it prophetic literature? Is it historical literature? That absolutely makes a difference in how we read the text for the original audience. We can use this scripture as an example. Everyone has heard this. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Who is the you that Jeremiah is talking to? Where is Jeremiah in this particular text? What is the expected end that he's talking about? And why would he be writing this? So Jeremiah is not writing to us. So I want to hear in the comments when he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, who is Jeremiah talking to? What are the five W's of this text?